Hey, this is supplements for weight loss for your metabolism as a woman over 50. And this is the information that you need to help you balance your blood sugar and get your information that you need for your metabolism so you can lose weight naturally and be healthy your way, reclaim your life without having to go on drugs and medication and to be able to use a lifestyle to support your health. And if it's just a specific shifts that you're doing, you can use supplements to help you tune up your body and your health so that you can get on track for the weight loss. And this is just one step that you can make. And it's one of the things that I do with my clients all the time is to help them get targeted supplementation to manage their body on this. So the subject today is going to be supplements for weight loss so that you can support your metabolism. And I just wanted to do a little quick intro here. Hi, I'm Lori Blue, functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner and your expert low carb diet and lifestyle support system. And if you are listening from YouTube or LinkedIn, because I'm going to repurpose this video after downloading it, I'm going to keep this kind of light, light and put a little bit of soul of me into this and keep it friendly and also import some valuable information that is um, science-backed and proven that's going to help you support your weight loss and get you to go where you need to go. So stick to the end. And um, I am going, if you don't want to listen to the beginning here, it's going to be a little slower because I want to be a little friendly and chat a little bit while we're waiting for other people to come in. So I am also going to have a five minute recap. So if you can't stay on this whole time, come back and catch the last five minutes. So this is going to be some valuable information and it may be you've heard it before, but let me tell you from my point of view and with my lived experience and my education of um, being an ex um, expert supplementations practitioner because I have learned from a natural food store as well as using supplements for myself what works and what doesn't work as well as being well read and understanding how supplements can support the body so I am not afraid to use supplementation I consider it part of biohacking but I also look at the science behind something and um, see how it's going to support my body and how it's going to work to support the health of my clients because when my clients come to work with me, one of the things that they're looking for is relief care and quick wins, and they wanna know what supplements they specifically need so they're not wasting money on buying supplements that are not gonna work because I always use um, practitioner um, practitioner grade supplementation from Fullscript, as well as things, um, mineral complexes from Vicon, as well as Cellcor. So you're going to get really good supplementation when working with me. But here's the lowdown so far, and I am going to try to keep this to 30 minutes and just do that recap at the end. So here we go. First, hello, thank you for joining me. I'm going to wave to you guys. I appreciate you coming on. And um, one of the things that I'm going to mention what I just did just now, because I also I do focus on supplementation, but you got to remember, food is information to your body. And are you eating the right diet for your body type? Are you eating the right diet to keep your blood sugar low so that the supplementation you're using is not wasted, but is used, being used as information along with the food that you're eating so that you could use the two together, tie all of this together so that you create the lifestyle around just targeted supplementation and food as information for your body to turn off the disease causing process in your body to flip the sugar switch so that you can utilize all of this to get your body to work for you. So you could be 61 like me, hair is not falling out, skin is looking good, I'm staying active, can hike 12 miles, down 100 pounds, using targeted supplementation, coffee for the antioxidant and brain health because that's what it's good for, no sugar added to this, but I sometimes add MCT oil, so that is another. There's a lot of food support you can do too, and if I have time, I'll kind of put that in at the end. But I just got finished with my lunch. I had an arugula salad with just olive oil. I don't even use dressing anymore. I just use olive oil because fresh pressed olive oil is medicine to your gut because if you get the polyphenols down there to nourish your bacteria, this is a food source nutrient that you want to support your body with that you don't have to, I mean, you do pay supplement price for it because a good fresh pressed olive oil is going to cost you a little bit of money. If you're buying cheap olive oil, it's fake. You want to Google that brand and make sure it's not a fake olive oil because they cut olive oil with vegetable oil. So you want to be careful of that. And then um, 
I had salmon and I crisped it up in my air fryer toaster oven and I ate the skin all crispy and that was so good because that's extra collagen. So you don't want to throw that stuff away. And believe it or not, as you change your diet, your taste buds will change, your bacteria change, and then everything starts to taste better and you don't really need the taste of sugar anymore. And so those are all the things that you get to look forward to. And um, so here we go, supplements for weight loss. And let me see which one. So last week I did speak about berberine. So if you didn't catch the live on berberine, go back and check that out because that's one of the natural alternatives to Ozempic is getting berberine. And berberine is going to help you regulate your metabolism, reduce the insulin response in your body, help you turn off inflammation in the body and support your cardiovascular system. So it's going to regulate your fat cells. So the very first thing you can do is don't rely on drug and medication, but get yourself on targeted supplementation like berberine because it's gonna support your metabolism. And this is part of being overweight and having disease in our body is because of insulin resistance. So we need to manage blood sugar. You need to support your metabolism and you, mean, you need to focus on, it's not just focusing on blood sugar, blood pressure, cardiovascular risk, and then um, being overweight. Those are all symptoms of a metabolism that isn't functioning. So a targeted supplementation for weight loss, the way I look at this as a practitioner, is if you need specific support for your blood sugar, then we could bring in the berberine. We could also bring in things like bitter melon to help support blood sugar, as well as gynostemma, which is um, metabolic support as well. It has, it's like the poor man's ginseng. It's called sugar destroyer, so it will help with your taste buds and it will help you um, reduce the sugar cravings in your body. And that can be supportive. So there are some blood sugar supports brands or um, blends out there that might have a little of everything in there. And so those are a couple of the big ones that you could do. L-glutamine can help turn off your cravings because that's going to help you actually follow a diet plan if you're not having cravings. And then the other side of cravings, cinnamon. Cinnamon can be added to your coffee. You could add it to your food. That's going to help you turn off your blood sugar um, lower your insulin response to turn off the cravings and to help you support your blood sugar regulation. I remember back in the day when I was first trying to get my blood sugar regulated, I could feel the pulse in my neck and I would just chew on new chapters, liquid soft gel, cinnamon, and it would immediately take it away. And so it could be very powerful. So you could use that in your coffee every day. If you're making bulletproof coffee, that is... Um, a big biohack, I'm not quite sure it's a supplement, but that C8 MCT oil, I guess you could call that a supplement. And what you do is you put a teaspoon of the MCT oil in there, work up to a tablespoon with a tablespoon of ghee or butter, and you add your coffee to that. Then you add the GABA to help with mood support. When your GABA levels are better, you have less cravings in the diet and in your body. So that's something I used this morning along with ashwagandha. So you want to target mood. When you target your mood, you then are able to have less cravings and balance out your moods and hormone systems so that you could actually focus on a diet plan to lose the weight. So GABA is a really good one to help with serotonin boosting. And then um, do not use that if you're on something for um, serotonin uptake. Don't use those if you are on supplements like that. So that would then you would want to go down to L-theanine. L-theanine doesn't have that kind of a problem. Okay, that's why it needs to be a target of supplementation because you need to know what to take and what not to take. But I also like ashwagandha from um, hormone management and that can help you balance your moods so that you can focus on craving control. And so when you get your cravings under control, using things like ashwagandha, gaba, cinnamon to help with blood sugar regulation, stopping your cravings with the L-glutamine, you can use that. And believe it or not, collagen. Collagen actually makes you feel better. I remember somebody said her brain just works better when she's on collagen, and I'm like, yeah, that's exactly right. Your brain will just work better, but you know, collagen is actually a prebiotic and will get into your gut and help you nourish your gut bacteria and so when your gut bacteria are working for you you actually have less cravings and you feel better in your body and so that also has um i think um glycine in it collagen has glycine so glycine is very calming and so in the beginning we also have a problem besides insulin resistance we have leptin sensitivity and so if you can do 40 grams of collagen in the morning without any um with your coffee 
and, and use that as your breakfast support, you actually can help yourself reduce insulin sensitivity and the leptin sensitivity by bringing in more of that protein that's going to be quickly used in your body to manage some DNA signaling and let your hormones know that you're getting extra protein. Now, this protein is not going to build muscle, so you can't use it for muscle synthesis unless you're at, unless you get a brand that has L-tryptophan in. So, if you wanted to spend extra money, pick up L-tryptophan and add that in there, and then that can be a very support system. Now, there is a trick to tryptophan because a lot of the times we have too much inflammation for our body to even absorb tryptophan. So, one of the hacks that you can do is when you get your collagen ready and you add that tryptophan to it. Let it sit for 30 minutes and it's going to have this um, reaction with that protein that when you drink it, you actually can get it to where it needs to go and it bypasses the inflammation. So there's an interesting trick to that. I have to look it all up again to see exactly what it had said, but that was by Bruce I think it was by Bruce Lipton mentioned that. It was a really cool, interesting tip that I had learned a long time ago that I thought was really cool because if we have inflammation, we may not be absorbing our serotonin or tryptophan and that can lower your neurotransmitters and, and that can be a problem too. So the thing about targeted supplementation is sometimes you just don't know what you don't know. And so working with somebody who understands all of this and can dial that in directly for you, you can get the results you need. But if you're DIYing this, look at the basics, get that cinnamon, Bring in the collagen, use your C8 MCT oil, turn off the appetite. If you need support for your whole metabolic system and you don't want to be on, on medications, use the berberine to support your metabolism. You could bring in that L-glutamine to help turn off your appetite. But then use apple cider vinegar and lemon juice in the morning with your water and a little teaspoon um, half a teaspoon of salt or a teaspoon of a salt soleil that you create for yourself and you could ask me a question on that and I can send you some resources on that but a salt soleil is going to give you energy and the salt for your body if you do not have salt for your your electrical system we are electrical beings as well as hydrophilic we are needing energy and you can get energy from the ground for free you can get it from salt you can get it um from the sunlight, we need to dial all that in too. And so these things, it's a little off course here because I am trying to stay on course here. One of the things that you wanna do for that blood sugar regulation overall and stress, reducing the stress with the grounding, with the sunlight is big to help you reduce that insulin response. But that's really free and not really a supplement, but you could take advantage of that as a lifestyle hack. And then bring in the chromium, bring in the vanadium. Those are, those are actually not as much in the soil. So we are not getting enough chromium to manage blood sugar and we don't get enough vanadium to manage your blood sugar naturally. And so that's actually one of the things Chromium is actually one of the things that I supplement with because on my hair tissue mineral analysis, I came up below on chromium. And so I needed that support personally for myself. And then what else came up separately was selenium. And that is for heart health and whole body management that supports the thyroid. So you need selenium as well to support your thyroid and your whole metabolism. And so those are um, critical. Those two items are most efficient in most everybody. And so adding those in as nutrients are very important for supplements for weight loss, especially for women over 50. And so we need all of that to help us regulate and support our insulin levels and to support the whole metabolism. And so those are super critical. Those are things that um, I don't really go without. And then another really nice thing to think about is how are you supporting your liver? Your liver needs to function for weight loss. And so you need to have a liver that is pink and healthy and so alpha lipoic acid can help keep your liver pink and healthy and help it regenerate that is really cool about the liver the liver can regenerate if you give it the right nutrients but if you're stuffing sugar into your body your liver can't function it will be fatty so that's called fatty liver disease and so we want the liver to not be fatty we want to be able to burn all the sugar from the liver and the only way to do that is to stop eating sugar and let your body be on a low carb diet and then you will burn the fat from your liver so your liver can function and then you've got to bring in the b vitamins so you want to you want um metabolically active b vitamins not synthetic b vitamins you don't want synthetic folate you don't want synthetic b12 you want methylated b vitamins so that you can detoxify and get your body to function the way you need it to so you get out of oxidative damage get out get away from dna damage and get your body to be able to create more glutathione and so that's really important to even bring in glutathione for your liver support 
for metabolism. So that's important to focus on liver. And so we have also magnesium. We Magnesium has over 500 enzymatic actions that it does in the body that we need to focus on. So it's always more maggy and maybe it's what type of magnesium that we need because we all need it. And if I don't take my magnesium at night when I go to bed, and if I didn't have any salt water before I go to bed, I'm gonna have a higher heart rate. So that is something to think about as a woman over 50. We are lower in estrogen, we are more insulin resistant, and if we do not get the right salt and electrolytes for our body, our heart rate is gonna go up and it's not gonna function the way we want it to. And so that's a huge focus for me because that's what I've noticed that I need. And so I am definitely focused on electrolytes and getting the right amount of magnesium and making sure that I'm getting the right amount of salt from my body. And so these are all things that go kind of in line with the magnesium. And if you're constipated, you don't have enough magnesium in your body. And if you're constipated, you're not gonna get the weight loss you want. So you need to be hydrating, getting the right amount of magnesium. If you're constipated, you could do magnesium citrate and if you're not constipated, you wanna do magnesium glycinate and take the full dose that is states on the bottle before bed. And that'll give you a good bowel movement by morning, but it'll help you sleep and have less stress. So magnesium glycinate, again, has that glycine, kind of like collagen. You could even you can even do half a collagen in the morning, half at night, it's gonna help you sleep. That extra glycine is important for our body to help us relax and have less stress. And um, so magnesium at night is gonna help you sleep because if you're not sleeping at night, you're not gonna be able to get the growth hormone process to help you dial in deep sleep to get the weight loss that you're looking for. Let's see, what's the next step here? We've addressed cinnamon, B vitamins, magnesium, berberine, and blood sugar management because the whole idea is to lower your blood sugar and if you're not doing it, strictly with diet, then you can use these supplementations to help you balance your blood sugar. That is the critical process. That is what it is to support your metabolism. The whole idea of supporting your metabolism is to get your cardiovascular system to work and to get your blood sugar regulation organized. Otherwise, you'll end up with prediabetes and diabetes and disease turned on in your body. And so that's the whole idea is to reverse insulin resistance and to support your blood sugar. And so a lot of these supplements are doing that and they're also supporting your liver. So that's the basics. It may seem like a lot, so re-listen to this and take notes and ask me questions if you need to. But this is all things that I keep in the back of my mind when I'm working with my clients. And as we're running six diagnostic labs, I'm finding their hidden healing opportunities and what their weight loss blocks are. And I'm dialing in targeted supplementation so that you get the results that you need and get the quick wins and get your body put back together like Humpty Dumpty so we know exactly what we need to do to get your body working again. And this is about getting your metabolism to purr like a well-oiled machine because we need to look under the hood, find out what's going on under there and correct it because Weight loss is not just a diet, it's a lifestyle change. But these changes that you can make, don't get scared of all the changes that you need to make. You make shifts, you start an action. You start the action to make the shifts and as you're doing them, things start to change and become easier. And 30 days into <clears throat> my current client's program, she's already 10, her pain is already down from a 10 to a four. She's lost 11 pounds. She feels amazing. She's not worried about what she's eating. She's cooking every night and enjoying the food she's eating. And she's like, you know what? I can do this. This is really easier than I thought it would be and it's not scary. And those are some really big wins to know that you can have less brain fog, get the energy you need, and get the right targeted supplementation to support you where you're at each month so that you know exactly what you do and you don't waste the money on supplementation so you get what you need to take. And so that's what this is all about. This is about getting those supplementations dialed in. And um, there is one other area that's really critical as you're starting to lose weight, supplements for weight loss as a woman over 50. Your stomach acid is probably too low. You may not be digesting your food and when you don't digest your food, you end up with GERD. You might end up um, thinking you have too much stomach acid. It's, it's a symptom of low stomach acid. So you address the symptom. You don't address the symptom, you address the underlying root cause, which is low stomach acid. And so when you support low stomach acid, bring in some apple cider vinegar or some hydrochloric acid to raise your, 
your stomach acid and bring in a digestive enzyme to help you break down your food, then you're going to absorb more of your nutrients. And that's a big problem because you could have malabsorption and you may not be at um, absorbing the nutrients that you're taking. You could be eating an organic food and not absorbing the nutrients that you're taking in because you're having a fat malabsorption issue or just plain overall protein dysregulation. So you could have protein putrefaction inside your intestinal tract where you're not absorbing your protein, so you're not going to get the neurotransmitters you need. So digestion is critical as a weight loss and management, and so supplements for that is getting a digestive enzyme and some HCL. And if you're not gonna take HCL, then apple cider vinegar. And those are all things that I have to actually troubleshoot for my clients because if you have H. pylori stomach bacteria, you shouldn't use HCL. And you could have high histamine and not be, you shouldn't be using apple cider vinegar. It could cause you to have edema or water retention, or you may not feel good using it. So food sensitivity, get your food sensitivity test dialed in get with me on that and I could get you lined up with your food sensitivity test and all my clients that I pull into my six month clients they get that food sensitivity test they get the Dutch hormone test they get the gut GI map test get everything mapped out find all your hidden healing opportunities and we put you back together again so that you can reclaim your life and have the life that you want to live and have that energy that you want and add 20 years to your life quality life of activity and so these are the things that you want to look at this is how you want to look at supplementation kind of like biohacking is what can you use to support your body where you're at and as you need it and so i did want to tell you what i am using for my supplementation i use coffee as antioxidant helps to support my brain health and today i use coffee berry extract because i had an onboarding call that i wanted to be fully present for and I took 2-L-theanine to help my brain calm down and focus. So with a coffee berry extract, I use the Neuromaster by, Blue, by Bulletproof because it's 200 milligrams and I can't find another one on the market that's 200 milligrams. And then I use the L-theanine and those two together are magic for brain health and BDNF. BDNF is brain-derived neurotropic factor. If you could get your brain to work better, then you are going to have a better life because your brain's functioning and then i use the lion's mane by life cycle and you could go to my link i believe i ha might have that in my link it's lori 10 to get a discount on on life cycles lion's mane because it's a dual action lion's mane and it also has a plum fruit from australia but that combination that they make that one is super good for your brain so i love that one it calms your brain down and helps create new um new cellular new cells in your brain it's generates more cellular system and lion's mane is really good for depression so it's an awesome product to be using so that's just something that i use and then today i made sure i took my chromium i took my selenium i took my boron to help me absorb my calcium because my hair tissue mineral analysis is showing my calcium has not been absorbed because my electrolytes are not balanced at the way they should be and i have high alumina which causes my calcium to not be absorbed and so that's what i'm focused on for my supplementation and then the other side of my supplementation is hormone balance so i use dhea I take estradiol, I use progesterone, and I take maca, and then I use that ashwagandha to help with my mood. And then I also have something that is supporting um, neurotransmitters that I use to help support neurons, neuro, neurotransmitters, and that is a combination product that I am using. And then I put taurine with that because it has, I put taurine with that because the product that I'm using has tyrosine, and I like to put those two together because the thing with, um, where did I put this down here? Oh, taurine could help you calm down and sleep better and reduce anxiety and depression. And when we get our moods balanced with targeted supplementation for weight loss, then magic can happen. So it's always about how can we support our moods? How can we balance our blood sugar? How can we support our liver? And how can we make sure we don't have constipation so we can get everything working together and everything's moving. You know, you got to keep it moving and cycling. Your liver and your kidneys need to be cycling. Your digestion needs to be functioning. You need to not have constipation. We need to be um, detoxifying and the liver needs to function. So there is um, specific things that we do to support that. And... Um, it's time for me to kind of go into a recap here.
and I believe I gave you everything that I wanted to talk about. Um, this is all stuff that I have learned over the last 30 years and experimented on myself with as well. I don't use berberine because I use a low carb diet, so berberine isn't necessary for me because it might lower my blood sugar too much, so I don't really need it. I'm able to tune into a diet, but in the beginning, when starting a low carb diet, you could definitely pull in berberine to support your metabolism. And I don't use cinnamon as much. Um, I, you know, every now and then I'll just remember to use cinnamon for blood sugar support, but I had to rely on it in the past. And I had to rely on things like the PDX, which is glucomannan fiber, just a lower blood sugar response. But then I just, you know, I just discovered that if I didn't put sugar in my body, I didn't react to sugar. And then I wouldn't have high blood sugar pressure, high blood sugar problems. And so that was just a decision that I came up for myself. And, um, if wine was gonna give me a rapid heart rate, I wasn't gonna drink the wine because if I took it out of my body, I no longer had the problem. And so that's kind of how I look at things. It's like, how can I reverse this problem? And the same with asthma. I mean, I no longer have inflammation in my body, so I no longer have asthma. And if you have asthma, it's just because you have inflammation. And that could be because the food you're using is not the right food for your body and because blood sugar regulation is not organized and your metabolism is sluggish and not functioning. And so all of these supplementations for weight loss, I look at them as well as supporting metabolism naturally for that natural weight loss because we have to get healthy to lose the weight and we have to dial in our metabolism and manage our blood sugar and give us our bodies the nutrients it needs so that it can function. So this seems like a lot. Like I said, take a notepad, write it all down um, and see what it is you're doing and maybe see what you can what else you can add in i um do have some b vitamins that are in my um, neurotransmitter complex but i also take beef liver and then i also have cooked liver that i'll eat just like supplementations that i'll have that occasionally but i also use food as medicine so i always focus on having collagen in the morning and mct oil and the ghee because that helps my gut function and when your gut is functioning and creating butyric acid and short chain fatty acids that's helping your body create ketones and helping your liver function and when you have a working gut you're going to have a better immune system all of this ties together as supplementations for weight loss because you're supporting your metabolism and your immune system and your gut and hormones are functioning again and so let me go into a recap here I um, have been talking about using berberine to help regulate metabolism and to reduce the insulin and inflammation and to support your cardiovascular system. That's also going to support and regulate, <coughs> excuse me, fat cells. And you could even bring in turmeric for that because berberine is naturally in turmeric. So that's why turmeric is so popular. And then you can use gynostema for NL glutamine and bitter lemon, bitter melon to help reduce blood sugar levels in the body naturally those are some things that you can do cinnamon lowers your blood sugar and you can use that regularly i like the new chapter liquid cinnamon that one works really well um utilize apple cider vinegar before your meals to help lower your insulin response and to help your help feed and nourish your gut bacteria so that you have the better gut bacteria because you want to feed good skinny bacteria and um then let off let the bad bacteria die off because you're nourishing the good bacteria so it's just a simple term to use. Bring in your B vitamins, support your liver. If your liver needs to work, so bring in those B vitamins. And um, then when you go on a low carb diet, you will burn through all the sugar that's stored in your liver. So then you could actually reverse or reduce your symptoms of fatty liver. So that's something to think about. Um, support your digestion. Make sure you get on a digestive enzyme minimally. Um, see if apple cider vinegar works for you and take that before each meal, but make sure you add it to water so that you don't actually have that acid straight on your teeth. And if I do add, add apple cider vinegar to my water, I always use a straw. So that's something to think about. Bringing in magnesium, one of my clients is like, oh my God, where has magnesium been all my life? So bring in magnesium so you don't have constipation. And also I like to use my magnesium at night before bed so it helps me sleep, especially magnesium glycinate. That's a better absorbed product. And focus on your neurotransmitter health. Like how can you bring in more GABA, some L-theanine, bring in some hormone management support like maca if you're not estrogen dominant. And if you're over 50, you could probably utilize maca more readily because you're not as readily going to have high estrogen levels. And so just with maca, you don't need maca if you have high estrogen levels. So if you're estrogen dominant, I wouldn't use the maca 
but then you can use um, GABA and L-theanine to help support your blood, to help support your neurotransmitters and to help bring in serotonin. But don't forget sunlight, because sunlight's gonna, without your glasses on, get outside and get that sunlight in your eyes. And then that's gonna help pull in serotonin too, because that's gonna support your mitochondria and they're going to work for you. Chronium, vanadium for blood sugar. Those are the specific supplements that are needed for blood sugar, as well as alpha lipoic acid to support glucose and for energy and to stabilize your blood sugar. And that's going to keep your liver pink. And it was funny. I told my younger brother about that. And my older brother asked, he says, what's that stuff that keeps the liver pink? And so um, I love alpha lipoic acid. If you could get the R lipoic acid, that is the better product to use as opposed to the alpha lipoic acid. So that is um, a more active form of it, but it's gonna help you stabilize your blood sugar and keep your liver clean and regulated. So, cinnamon, turmeric, berberine, B vitamins, magnesium, digestive enzymes, collagen, apple cider vinegar, lemon and electrolytes with the sea salt, that's all gonna help balance your electrolytes. And if you need that extra support, get the berberine, you know, use the gynostemma. Um, see about getting more PGX and glucoman and fiber so that you can manage to suppress your, you know, in the beginning, we need to lower our blood sugar. Um, we need to lower our cravings by managing our hormonal system and lowering our blood sugar response. And so those cravings might be hard to manage in the first three days, but what you need to do is just eat more protein. When you eat 30 grams of protein at each meal and eat a lot of fat, you turn off your appetite and you don't crave things. Have a little snack right at the end of your meal, sugar-free chocolate, a few pecans or macadamia nuts or whatever it is that you wanna crunch on. Have that right at your meal, right at the end of your meal for dessert. And that's gonna turn off your appetite. That's, in, that's information to your body. That's food, that's information to your body. Food is medicine. And when we eat a low carb diet and get targeted supplementation for weight loss, that's when we win. That's when we lose the weight. That's when we get healthy to lose the weight. And it can happen naturally. And you know, we really do need to focus on blood sugar support because insulin resistance is the precursor to all disease in the body. We have to bank down the insulin response in the body. As long as insulin is turned on and you have glucose in your blood, and that glucose is when your carbohydrates break down into simple sugars. So all carbohydrates will break down into simple sugars and you will have a, a glucose load in your body. If that glucose load is in your body is too high and it's not um, lowering itself, then you're going to be in a fat storage mode. So that is when you have insulin levels turned on, you're gonna store that fat, you're gonna create triglycerides, create LDL to store that in your body. So we wanna stop that process and become a fat burner so you have to take it out. And so managing your cravings and getting that all under control is gonna be the what you wanna focus on. So bring in the chromium, bring in the vanadium. There are, um, if you go to a supplement store, they do have blends or brands that have a lot of these combinations together. So look for ones with chromium and vanadium and gynostemma, some L-glutamine, get the cinnamon, get the B vitamins, get yourself a good magnesium. That's going to be separate. Don't look for that in a multivitamin. You don't need a multivitamin per se, is you just want to make sure that you're getting the, these right targeted supplementations for weight loss, for blood sugar regulation. Okay. If anybody have a question, put it in the chat. And I think that was it. That was my 30 minutes. I know that was a lot, but if you are um, got any questions going forward, just let me know. I am here. I am doing free discovery calls to find out what's going on in your body so that I can figure out how I can help you. And the more you talk about what you need to do and where you want to go and what your health is, ha what's happening to your health and how I can support you, that's when the magic's going to happen. That's when I can let you know how my program's going to help you and how I'm going to take you from where you are now to the best body that you can have in the next six months to a year, depending on what your investment is in yourself. But let's run those six diagnostic labs find those hidden healing opportunities for your body and discover your weight loss blocks. And then we correct all of that with the right diet and supplementation and working together because I've got that lived experience as, long, as well as being a certified functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner that's gonna give you the support you need now. So you could live your life this year and start wearing the clothes that you wanna wear in your closet and then throw them out and get new ones because you're gonna be slenderer. And this is about being slender forever. My program is a permanent weight loss solution. This is addressing the root cause 
of insulin levels in the body to support your metabolism, to find your hidden healing opportunities and correct your metabolism. And so this is how you do it. And I do it kind of like all at once. I'm going to find what your metabolic I'm going to give you an, a metabolic analysis and find out what's going on exactly in your body so you could see the chaos that's going on inside your body. It's not one symptom. It could be 400 symptoms. Your doctor is not going to solve 400 symptoms. You're going to have to go to 400 different doctors. How would you like to just come to one practitioner who's going to show all six labs right out front, figure out exactly what targeted supplementation you need for your weight loss, and put your body back together like Humpty Dumpty so that you can have a purring metabolism and you can get your life back on track and reclaim your life this year. Take that bull by the horn. You deserve to have good health and feel good in your body, to age beautifully and adventurously like I am. And at 61, be off all medication with no disease in your body because that is not the way we were designed. That's not our human design. Our human design is to thrive. And you just have to take away what's causing the interferences and bring in what can support you and give you targeted support and get rid of those interferences and let your body work the way it was designed. It is amazing what our body can do. It can hang on and be sick for years and years and years. But if we get it dialed in correctly, get you the right targeted supplementation, support your health and your metabolism the way it's designed, that's the power. That's the magic. That's the secret. And I will help you get there. So if you would like to get on a free discovery call with me and find out what's going on in your body, I will discover what's going on with you and I will help you figure out what you need to do. And then I'll let you know what my program is all about. Because six months to a year, whatever investment you want to do in yourself, I will take you there. I've got you. Okay. I'll see you soon. Bye.